How do you set up SAP integration with S4? What kind of documentation do you actually need to get started? Let's go back. So if you were have been working with SAP in the past, you've probably been going to Transaction Barbie uh, to find the Barbies that you could use for a specific case. And the, here you could find, go around and find different Barbies that could help solve some of the different cases you had, find some documentation on these things. It was okay, but not really useful. And you could also you could also go to IDAC transaction and go and find specific data in here. But uh, not really useful. Took a long time. And at some point in time, you also had the option to look at the Enterprise Service Repository. Uh, that was also something that could take a little while and would never work. Um, with S4, I would say that the documentation process has really been improved quite a bit, making it a lot easier for you as an integration architect specialist to figure out what to do. Um, so the place you want to start is uh, api.sap.com, SAP's API hub that exposes all the different APIs that the SAP platform provides. And uh, there's obviously the beta uh, that you can check out, and I think that it works kind of the same no matter which of them you're using. Um, so the idea is you select the product is for cloud and then you can search for sales order. And when you open the sales order, you have both option to see the ODATE uh, SOAP uh, and the ODATE API. So let's just start with the, the SOAP API for it. Here you can download the specification. I guess this would be the visible, but more importantly, it gives you two links to these uh, documents here. These are scope items. These are whatever the business also would configure or, or set up and see. Okay, we have a B2B order fulfillment from Commerce Cloud. It's this service. And if you look at these things, there's actually quite a lot of uh, different interesting things. So there's the process flow here. You can check a look and see what's the process that is working uh, here. So we can see we have some business partner uh, replication that's going on here. We trigger a business contact and then there's some other stuff that goes to the CPI. So a lot of master data and hopefully at some point in time, there's also a sales order that's being triggered. So from the CPI system, we say call sales order create we can also send it back and stuff like that. So this gives you an idea about what kind of integration exists in this specific place. The other really cool thing is the setup instructions. And this is really a nice document to go through, depending on what you, <laughs> how you see it. So there's a lot of prerequisites that you need to go through. How do we deal with these things? Um, um, what kind of themes what's what's important for this to work and then at some point in time you will get to the configuration details about how to set up uh, communication users how to handle all of these different things and this act document actually gives you a good way to collaborate with your business to help set up these things um, there's also some automated setup instruction if you're using that uh, automation service that would help you configure these services uh, as you go. Um, if you have, uh, if you want to select the OData, uh, there's also some different ways you can hear, you can see the XSD from it, you can try it out and see how it works. In the details, you can also see the same. So here we have the same scope item. Uh, authentication options, stuff like that. So with this, we actually get a lot of information about how it works, what we can do, um, and the business objects involved and all this kind of thing. So this gives us really a good overview about the different types of integrations that you have with the, the S4 system. If you want to see more on this, there's also the API, uh, the new API, um, the, the new version of the API hub that contains a lot of extra information. Uh, here we can search for APIs the same way. Uh, and you can see if there's OData, sales order packages that involve this. 
So here we have an API packet that contains some different things. <laughs> Decommission? Maybe not, not the right uh, one to be using. Um, but this is also an excellent point and it points to the same data. Um, you can see here it also have the integrations. Uh, I guess that's uh, what kind of integration flow. Are there any pre-delivered uh, integration that makes sense in this case? Uh, so pre-delivered SP integration, I guess something for, for Germany. There is if there is any uh, CDS views, what kind of events happens in this process, uh, workflow management, uh, be business processes. So, so this contains all the different information that you need to deal with SAP integration or, or in the uh, S forces. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this or had some comments, please put them into the comment sections below. I would love to hear your feedback or if there's any other place where you would find this for uh, documentation on how to get started. Thanks for watching.